For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking some Wildcat men's hoops here with head coach Joe Golding. The Wildcats 2-0 after a Tuesday night win over Howard Payne from Division III, 70-56 to the final. Coach, uh, I was talking to your associate head coach, Brett Tanner, and he was talking about what a good non-D1 opponent Howard Payne is because of what they demand of any team, including D1 teams. What did you think about the game last night? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they make you guard. They're a really, really disciplined team. They run their stuff really well. Um, and so you've got to guard deep into possession. So that was really, really good for us. Uh, we got a lot of good work on the defensive end. Uh, then offensively, they play a sagging man-to-man. They don't really give you easy uh, baskets. And so we, we struggled offensively, uh, especially in the first half. I didn't think our ball movement was very well. Um, and, and we just we, we took some quick shots. We were looking just to attack and play a lot of one-on-one. Um, and so, obviously, it was a great learning experience. But uh, credit to Howard Payne. I, I thought it was uh, their, their kids played really well. Uh, they played hard. Uh, and then, you know, uh, although it was a frustrating night at times for us, I think you wake up this morning, you watch tape, and it's going to be a great growing experience and be really good for our guys. The other thing, and you and I were texting last night after the game, you look around the Southland Conference and you get an NAIA team beating one of your conference rivals. You saw a D3 team beat McNeese State on Tuesday night. Every win is to be celebrated. And again, you get the win plus a whole bunch of stuff you get to work on heading into some D1 opponents, right? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Even going back to my time at Little Rock, I think I've been on both sides of these. You know, I've been at the D2 level where you get a chance to go play the Division One, and how it's just a Super Bowl and you're so excited and um, your, your kids are pumped up to being on this side of it here at ACU and at Little Rock where these teams are coming in to play you. And, um, you know, if you play two or three of them a year. There's always one or that seems to be really close. And then there's teams all over the country that get beaten in these mm-hmm. games. And in fact, when I was at Little Rock, we lost to Harding. Uh, Harding came in and beat us. And so uh, it's, um, you try to tell your kids that every time you get on the floor, you got to compete, you got to play the game the right way. And um, if you don't, then uh, you know you have a chance to lose. And so I was proud of our kids. We bounced back to the second half. We obviously won the second half by 20. Uh, we played much better in the second half. Our defense was better, our offense was better. So credit that to our kids. Um, it for for bouncing back in the second half. It was a 20 to two run, about midway uh, through the second half that really put the game away. Coach, we talk about these terrific freshmen. Jalen Franklin, 15 points to lead your team on Tuesday night. Uh, Jaron Lewis has had a couple of really really nice games, especially on the glass. But a guy that you've been telling us about all off season because of what he's done to his body, getting himself in shape, is Duran Porter. He's also improved his vision, like literally his his eyesight in the offseason. He had 11 points and four rebounds in the second half. I'm not sure you necessarily win that game if Duran Porter doesn't have the game he had. Yeah, he played well. We've been waiting for him to break through a little bit. We've seen it in practice. Uh, we saw it in Costa Rica and, and uh, we saw some some flashes of it with Texas State. And so there's definitely he's done a great job. He's worked really hard on his body. He's gotten stronger. He's in a lot better shape uh, nice tell, this yeah. year than, than he was. And so um, he, he played well. He, he, he did. He hopefully grew with some confidence in there and, and uh, he was able to get uh, get on the glass and rebound the basketball. He was also able to score it. Uh, so hopefully he can build on that and uh, continue to uh, – con- we, we need a presence in there, mm-hmm. you know. And so ho- him being a senior, he's been through it before. He and He's a great leader. I, I, I don't know if I've mentioned that to you last week, but I'm, I'm just really impressed. That's the one thing that shocked me with him. Uh, you know, Austin and Parker are such quiet kids. They work by example. You know, they're, they're they, they they every day they're the same person, but they're not very vocal. And mm-hmm. him and Jay Little have done a great job being vocal uh, with this team. And you know, in the locker room at halftime after the game last night, uh, they're they're doing a great job of being vocal and saying the right things. So I'm proud of him for that off the floor, and I was glad he got rewarded for the way he's worked uh, with a good night on the floor. You can tell his teammates like him. They just flat out enjoy him. Okay, so a couple of non-D1s, you're 2-0. and o. Now you head up to, to face some opponents who play with the big boys and, and are the big boys, you, you could say. University of Portland, they play against Gonzaga and Pepperdine and some of the great teams uh, in, in the West Coast Conference. And then you get, Coach, you get Colorado State from the Mountain West. I mean, two really good opponents, Sunday night at Portland, Tuesday night at Colorado State. What do you expect? Uh, it's, well, I mean, we got a work cut out for us, and so I haven't watched tape. Uh, uh, we just finished Howard Payne watching ta- uh, Howard Payne tape, and so we'll lock into Portland uh, this afternoon. But I, I do know they have a first team All League point guard. And they also have a wing coming back that I think can really, really shoot the basketball. Uh, they also have a glue guy that, that that played a bunch of minutes for him and did a bunch of the little things. I think he's returning, and so uh, and obviously very well coached. I think if I'm correct, they made it to the semifinals of the West Coast Conference mm-hmm. tournament last year and got beat by BYU. So. Uh, 
uh, they're going to be uh, they're going to be a tough opponent. Uh, it'll be a good challenge for us. First time on the road, you never know what to expect, especially with uh, all these freshmen. Uh, hopefully, they'll get on the plane. You know, the good thing for us when we had to go to Costa Rica, so we've been on the plane together. We know what an, you know how to travel in an airport, what to do with our bags, and uh, we know how the rules when we get to a hotel and and how we act. So. Hopefully uh, it won't be the first time we've done that. Edward Costa Rica can pay off a little bit for us, but uh, you never know. The first time we go there on the road, they turn the lights off, they announce starters, and the cheerleaders are going crazy, sure. and the music's blaring. It's, it's a first time for all that for those guys. So our seniors are going to have to be good. They're going to have to do a good job of preparing for uh, the, the new guys for what's coming, and then uh, we'll go down there and compete and see. I think I think this week, I told our team last night, man, I'm really excited about this week. I'm excited to get on the airplane. I'm excited to head to Portland, and then obviously to Colorado State, and then down to Corpus. And I think when we fly back, on a Sunday, uh, I, I want to be a better basketball team. I think we'll know more about our team, and I think we'll be a better basketball team. Regardless of the win-loss record. Regardless of the win-loss record, you know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, we want to win. I mean, that's course, the name yeah. of the game, and that's what we're about. And every night we're going to go out and compete. Uh, but right now, with so many new pieces, we're just trying to get better. We're trying to take it one day at a time and just continue moving forward uh, to prepare ourselves the best way we can for conference play. A lot of frequent flyer mileage to be gained in the next 10 days or so. The Wildcats of ACU men's team heading to the University of Portland for a Sunday night tip, Tuesday night at Colorado State, and then the Friday and Saturday of Thanksgiving weekend down in Corpus to play in a holiday tournament. We'll have all of those games on the ACU Sports Network. For Joe Golding, I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com.